Welcome back everyone. Today we're going over the double flip and um, I gotta be honest, I'm not a huge fan of double flips. This is one of those uh, requests where I'm just doing it for you guys because I'm not super into this trick, but it, it was fun to do a couple of them because I, I really don't do them that often. But um, it, it's a genuine practice video for me, I guess you could say, because the other videos I mostly do with these uh, flip tricks, they're pretty regular for me. I do them quite often and this one I don't. So it was fun getting to film this video um, just to see, just to practice a few double flips and um, I was surprised to know that I could still do them. But anyway, I wanted to go over the major differences between the kick flip and the double flip. So I've done a few videos on kick flips and I can put the description, I can put the link below in the description. Uh, but basically when I go over these kickflip videos it's always about you know how to tweak your kickflip or how to kickflip higher or whatever and that really involves the direction of the flick and the power that you pop with just making sure you have a lot of power in the pop and uh sliding up off the front and really kicking the the kickflip off the nose and that really helps level it out and tweak it also so those are all important parts of a good kickflip so with a double flip, it's almost the opposite of that. You're so focused on making sure that you can get those two flips in there that you're not gonna focus on, you know, trying to, to do it higher or get a nice catch on it. And if you can catch a double flip as high as this kick flip, then bravo, good for you, because that's super difficult. But the main differences are the direction of flick. So you'll see that as opposed to the regular kick flip, I'm just, flicking down really fast here so i'm popping and almost immediately flicking downward to get as much momentum as i can to really get that double flip going and it's about really just getting your feet out of the way and letting it spin and i think a double flip is like the the right amount the perfect amount that you can get in on flat ground um triple flips are possible too but those are very difficult you have to basically do what i'm doing here but even harder and I, I would for that i would recommend putting your feet even closer together but um i think a double flip is really like the magic number for um for getting those flips in on flat ground you could definitely do like you know a nice high kick flip or you could sacrifice that height and and do a double flip and um the same is true for a triple flip but it, you know it's even even more extreme so um it's really just about that difference in flick and keeping your feet out of the way. And the most common problem you're going to see with this is um, just getting like a, a 1.5 flip, you know, like a, a one and a half, one and a half kick flips and just landing on it upside down. That's something that happens um, pretty often with this one. And it just takes practice with the timing. If your kick flip, if you're not flipping it fast enough, it's probably not going to happen. It helps to really have your foot further off the board, uh, more so, much more so than a, a regular kick flip. I think when your feet are close together on the board in any flip trick and you pop, it gives you a much more explosive flick. Um, same thing goes with, you know, tray flips. Um, you know, let's say if you were to do a double varial or a double tray, that would help also. Um, so compared to a regular kick flip, I would recommend having um, the flicking foot further off the board and probably having your feet closer together. So those are my tips on double flips. It's a fun trick to really just test your limits on, just to know that you can do it. It's fun to just know that you can do it even if you you don't do it on a daily basis. And um, I actually enjoyed making this video. I, I enjoyed doing the double flips more than I thought I would. Still not like a, a favorite of mine, but it was cool to make this video. So. Thanks as always guys, leave your comments below on uh, future skate hack suggestions and I'll see you next time.